Yes, I, one of the things that came to my mind was I've been doing some help outs on uh, weekends. Uh, I was in Boston a couple of weekends ago, and then I was up at um, Gaston uh, and at St. Mary's on the Ridge and also St. Augustine's uh, in Norwalk. And it's sort of, a, I guess, a new thing for me to be out uh, saying Mass in parishes on the weekends. When I taught in the seminary, I did that for 13 years, so I do have some familiarity with it, but it, it's great you know, to be out, to be among people. And when I got thinking about it and thinking about the future, I thought back to an old television program. There are probably a lot of people that are too young to remember uh, Paladin and have gone well travel, but I was told that there's even a museum uh, to Paladin dedicated to him in Cody, Wyoming. I'll have to pursue that, maybe Google it and see if that's really true. But I've come up with a little slogan uh, for my own personal self and my own personal travel to these parishes. And it's called, you know, Have Chalice Will Travel. So uh, these next three weeks, I'm going to be, you know, in Cashton and then again at St. Mary's on the Ridge you know, and at St. Augustine's uh, in Norwalk. So I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's great to be out with people and actually celebrating Mass and preaching, you know, to an audience. Uh, I love it and I don't really worry about how far I have to travel just, just to have the opportunity to get out and to be among people. And one of the things that I thought I might do is take a camera along and take some pictures of these churches because they're beautiful, just fantastic, and then bring them back so that Sleeveless Bob can post them on our Facebook page. So keep tuned and keep uh, pay attention to where we might be. And you're certainly, if we're, I'm in that area and it's been announced, I would love to see you. I gotta add to this, Father, that You've been very fortunate that you have a four-wheel drive pickup from the Fond du Lac Ford dealership, but you shared a story about the Cooley region with your last Ford pickup truck with the parishioners. Tell us about that. Well, one of the things, see, when I was saying Mass up there, it's not very far from Sparta and from West Salem and La Crosse. And I have deep roots going back to my days in racing and going to La Crosse uh, International Speedway. In fact, I even went once you know, to that old La Crosse Speed Bowl that was out in the middle of nowhere and mosquitoes almost carried you away. But uh, you know, I, had, I told the people there that I knew Larry Weirs very well. Uh, at one time he owned the Dell Speedway and I said invocations there. But another person, was the Holzhausen family and Bud Holzhausen who sold me a Ford Ranger. And we, <clears throat> I drove that Ford Ranger 500,000 miles. I think I had replaced everything on the whole truck by the time it was over. But when it came to an end, I had, we had 5,000 miles, 500,000 miles on it. And I decided that you just can't send a truck like that to the junkyard. You know, it, it deserved, you know, to go down in flames. So a friend of mine, Paul Stender, who at that time had a lot of jet vehicles and was doing uh, jet shows with those vehicles at uh, air shows and things like that. He had one where there was a big commercial jet engine uh, mounted on the back of a flatbed truck. And what he was doing was, part of his show was, he would melt like a school bus or some vehicle like that. So I asked him, I said, do you think that we could melt my Ford Ranger? And he was doing a show at Golden Sand Speedway. Maybe some of you were there and saw it, but the time came, 
the night came and we melted that Ford Ranger uh, right before my very eyes and before the crowd's very eyes.